Okay, so I pressed both buttons for a few seconds and it went out of lock. And now, let's say you want to scan, because uh, there's... This has 16 memory locations, um, so it comes with 16 FRS channels pre-programmed in, and uh, you might not know which uh, which one your friend is going to talk to you on. Uh, normally you coordinate that ahead of time, but it does have a scan feature if you want it. Um, so you just press and hold this bottom button for a few seconds. On. And it says on, meaning that scan is now on. So. If I set this one here, actually, I'll let you see that there's a, uh, a flashing green light there. And, um, let me refocus. So if I take this other radio... Power on. Five. Four. Okay, so now I was on, uh, was it? Fox six. Seven. Seven, yeah. So I put this on channel seven. This one's just scanning through. You can see the green flashing light means it's scanning through. So now I'm just going to say a message real quick. Hey, this is me testing out the scan. Okay. And you can see that the light turned solid green for a second. It waits. And then it returns to scanning after it doesn't detect a signal for a little bit. So, um, let me turn this one off. And then to take it out of scan mode, you just press and hold uh, this button again, the bottom button. Off. And it says off. And, uh... And it actually remembers what channel you were in before you started scanning, which is kind of nice. And actually, more expensive radios I've, I've had don't do that. So um, let me go ahead and turn this off. So that is uh, what you get in the package. And um, uh, now I'm going to go over how to program it. Okay, so to begin programming, the first thing you want to do is to take the programming cable out of the, uh, the little package that they give you. So obviously it's USB, so you're just going to plug this USB end into your USB port on your computer. And then this other end, which I'll zoom in on here, um, or focus in on, please work, okay. So this other end uh, plugs into the radio, and it looks a little weird, but that's because it uses the microphone and uh, speaker port to communicate back and forth between the, the radio and the computer. So, I'm just going to plug this in here without plugging this into a computer for now, just to show you how to do it. So we're going to pull off this top cover here, and we're going to take the plug and match it up with those two plugs, and snap it in. And that's easy. And, and make sure you do this when it's off, um, uh, and then when you're ready to program it, set it to a channel that you know is not going to have a whole lot of traffic on it, because it... It, apparently that, at least that's the instructions Chirp always gives me. So set it to a channel that isn't going to receive anything, you hope anyway, and then turn it on, and uh, I like to turn the volume all the way up, uh, but it, you know, you can try it out in different ways. The computer will just complain at you, the software will complain that it can't communicate, and uh, it might tell you what to do. So, uh, so that's just kind of some best practices, let me turn this off, and uh, let's go to the computer. Alright, well that's it, and um... I uh, hope you, if, if you end up picking up these radios, you can usually find them for about 15 bucks each or something like that. And uh, they're really great radios. I, I've gotten really good reception uh, with them just walking around with my wife and uh, at theme parks and things like that. So um, there are some other videos on YouTube I uh, would recommend uh, watching. I'll link to them in the description. Um, that uh, go over the actual range, like real-world uh, range, and using equipment to uh, to detect the signal over longer and longer distances. So um, uh, definitely check those out if you want a more scientific, uh, I guess, approach to to the review of it. But these are two watt radios. They are um, reasonably sturdy. I mean, they don't feel like you know a, a plastic like VTech, you know, <laughs> um, a child's toy. Uh, they're certainly not your high-end radios, but you didn't pay a high-end price. Uh, but they're certainly higher quality than I expected for the price. So uh, thank you for watching.